is we travel out of this little city in the crater of a volcano and up this winding road. I'm just thoughtful of our journey in the van with me and Snow and our two kitties around the world. And I gotta tell you, I haven't really felt this much stress, not even close, on our entire journey. And obviously we had the flood, which, which freaked us out. Um, this is different. Uh, we're headed to Panama City to look into logistics. We are shipping our van to South America, as you guys, some of you guys know. And this is really the start of the countdown. And so, just really kind of nervous about the entire process of putting everything we own into a ship and handing the keys to somebody else and not to see it the van in our home until we get to another country so i think we're about to get into a pretty usa type environment while we're in the city here in panama we're not quite there yet but we're skirting along the coast and there are definitely some skyrise condos over there and we're starting to get glimpses of the city up ahead Guys, we have stopped off to grab some lunch. At the Boho Food Court. All right, guys, we just finished up our lunch and now we are heading to a place here I think it's probably would call on the east side of the center of Panama City. So just a little bit outside of the main part of the city. But we are going to the warehouse of some people we met through Instagram. Actually, one of you subscribers hooked us up through Instagram. And they have been amazing at giving us cool places to visit here in Panama and all that kind of stuff. Their Instagram handle is called The Vibes of Panama. But their family has a warehouse here. And that is where we are going to go so we can start getting our van ready to ship. So today, it's just kind of a planning session. Meet them in person, come up with a plan, and then we will leave and head out of the city and we'll come back in, I don't know, five or six days to do the actual work. When I say actual work, what I mean is we're going to drive our van onto a ship it's not going to be in a container. We're trying a different option than we originally thought we would be doing. So you have to secure the van so that no one can break into it. Kind of protect everything we have here in the van. And to do that, you need some space to do some work. So that's what this warehouse is hopefully going to work out for. Plus, we're excited to meet these guys because they've been awesome. So that's where we're headed right now. We are Fernando. Well, we are Ica. Ika, Ambar, 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 and Fernando. and Fernando. Very nice to meet you guys. And you're from Colombia. From Colombia. And you've been in Panama for how long? 
Hi. Three weeks. Three weeks. So guys, they just started their journey. They're headed to California and up through Alaska. They came to Panama and bought this rig right here. And so their journey's on the front end. Yeah. They've been where we have not. And, and we we've been, been where, where they're, they're not. not. Yep. So I just wanted to give them our contact information. So if they have any questions yeah. along the way, they can hit us up and we can help them out. So yeah. Well. First travelers we meet. Ah. Uh -huh. And this is our first appearance on YouTube. <laughs> Well, welcome to YouTube, and very nice to meet you guys. Hi. Hi. Oh, oh hablas inglés, I see. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, good luck on your journey, guys. Bye. All right, guys. We found the Lavenderia Blue Dragon and roughly communicated with them. We did drop off our laundry. We're just now picking it up. It was about $12 for quite a lot. It's not all dry and it's not folded, so... Uh, We'll see how the quality of it is. But it's a random lavenderia we found. And so now we're going to go find another camp spot. We'll explain later. Yeah. He's like a trash statue guy, see? Yeah, same. So we got some street performers at this intersection. So over here we have a juggler slash twirler, balancer. He's got some talent. And over here this guy's dressed up like, I guess, in... A yellow rubber fishing suit he's got a fishing pole and it looks like he's caught some rubbish and he keeps pivoting back and forth like he's pulling it out of the water and this guy's still twirling and juggling and then they go and ask the cars for money so I think they call that buskers or baskers but street performers they're pretty good a serious advantage to living in a van. When you go pick up your laundry, you can fold it and put away while the other person is driving down the road. Laundry, done. So I told you earlier we were supposed to meet up with our new friends that we connected with on Instagram. They had some stuff come up, but we did get by their shop and it does look like somewhere we're gonna be able to do the work. Um, but they're tied up now till Wednesday, so we were not able to meet them yet. But we will be back to the city in a few days, right, Kurt? Yeah, it's, yeah, yes. <laughs> it's a big bump we just went over. But we'll be back to the city in a few days to get started on getting the van ready, to put it on a ship and send it to South America, which is freaking exciting. But for now, we're headed out of the city. It's been a very hectic day. We went to the city, we're leaving the city, but we're headed somewhere cool. So we're headed out to a place called Pipeline Road, which is supposed to be a good hiking trail for birds and maybe monkeys and all kinds of stuff. But what's cool is we're basically driving parallel with the Panama Canal right over there. You just can't see it because it's on the other side of these trees. All right, guys, I told y'all we were driving parallel to the canal. There it is, right over there. <laughs> All right, he's pretty far away already, guys. But this is some sort of giant hamster rodent thing that I must look up the name of. He just walked right by the van. And the cat's locked on. But they were quiet because he's kind of big. All right, got to open up the Google to see what he is. So we found our camp spot for the night. It's right here. It's an old abandoned parking lot next to an old wildlife center. But we've still got an hour of daylight and we're right out here on this road that they call the pipeline road or the loop road or something. So we're going to go for a ride and see if we can find some animals. So we're up here riding around 
looking for birds. We found some parrots, but I look up and there's a ship going down the canal. How cool is that? It's got a little boat pushing it through. It's a little boat, but I bet it's a powerful boat. And then Kurt is right here, focusing in, parrot. focusing in on some parrots. With the Panama Canal right behind him. right outside of our van this morning we have spotted the toucans actually this is a parrot oh we have spotted more parrots but he's eating so if you look in the screen you can see him he's pretty cool They're all right so right up there is the parrot and the fun squirrel and the toucan was there but i think he flew before kurt got him and there's our camp spot and right over here See how close we can get to the giant rat rodent. <laughs> He's eaten. He's cute. So this worked out to be a really nice place to take the kitties for a walk. Where you want to go, pretty girl? Kurt has already walked G. Now it's Vanna's turn. Let's go see what she can find to smell. These are too many smells. You don't know where to go? Vanna. crawler guys. I had to get Nana away from him. Weird centipede worm looking thing. Yeah, Nana didn't get a chance to see this guy. Alright guys, we are on a two kilometer cobblestone road up into a rainforest jungle area of Panama. We weren't sure if it was going to be a van type of a road, but it is, or at least so far it's been a really great road. So we're in the rainforest guys, we're going exploring. little town up here. Gamboa? Is that right, Kurt? Yep. Gamboa is at a kind of a working workers uh, area of the Panama Canal. They do some loading and unloading here of some of the ships and it looks like there's rail cars that come here. And these roads out here were built to build the canal and to run pipelines along through here. So it's called the Pipeline Road. So the roads to get out here are not in great shape at all as they're beat up pretty hard by heavy duty loaded down trucks and equipment. But it's a public road. You can drive out here and uh, you get pretty good up into the jungle. We are going under our first low hanging branch. Seems okay. All right, so Pipeline Road, if you're in Panama, take a ride out here and you'll be right in the middle of the jungle with us. Yeah, this is one of those trees that's not so good. That one's still there? Yeah, he's right here. Alright guys, we are parked here at the end of the road where we have to go hiking from here. Kurt scoped it out. 
said the trail was bike friendly. So it looks like I get to go at least for a little ways, right, Curdy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. We get to go in the jungle. On bikes. How cool is that? We think we're at the observation tower. Um, I don't know if I'll make it to the top. I got faith Kurt will. But from what I understand, there's a few places I can hang out around here. So let's go see. What do you think? My goal is to make it to the first stopping section. Okay. So you go ahead, I'll go super slow. Hey guys, Kurt's headed to the top of the lookout tower. And they say every 25 feet there's a resting area. So that's my goal, to make it to that first one. Is there somewhere for me right there, Kurt? That's where I'm headed, that first one. Oh yeah, this hurts, but I can make it to this first section, guys. Oh, I had hopes of making it to the top, but it ain't gonna happen. Because I always gotta remember, these knees gotta get me back down. So here's where I hang out, right here. All right, let's take a walk around the little platform here. So the platforms on this tower stop at different levels of the rainforest. So I don't know what level we call this, but I'm calling it level one. And it's beautiful here. Now let's go see what Kurt's finding up top. All right, guys, I can't stand it. I gotta try to go a little higher up. It's just gonna mean lots of ice. But when am I gonna be able to do this again, right? So, I'm at least gonna try to get to the next level and then see if there's any chance of making it to the top. Eh, we'll see. All right, guys, I made it to the third level, which is 75 feet upstairs. I haven't made it down yet, but I'm stopping here. I'm not going any higher up. I was able to get where I can see over the top of some of the trees. That's good enough for me. So I'm going to enjoy this for a little bit and then start the slow walk back down. All right, guys, we're on the second level of the observation tower. We have found howler monkeys but they seem to be settling in for naps. Kurt strategically tried to wake them up. You wanna try again? So my best howler monkey imitation. <laughs> they aren't phased at all. In fact, they're probably giggling at you just like I am. <laughs> all right, guys. We made it up on the tower. We're above the treetops, above this jungle. We came up through the monkeys playing in the trees. It's pretty bushy in there, so I don't know how well we got them in this run, but it's still pretty cool to be up above the tree in the jungle. I think there's a lake over there, but it's so bushy and so much coverage we can't see. Super quiet. Pretty cool to look out over the jungle. Do you know where you are? I'm in the jungle. You're in the jungle, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, she made it to the tower. She made a long ways up there. Almost to the top. We got to hang out with the holler monkeys in the treetops, which was good. Yeah, it was nice. 
and it was pretty. But now, back to the bikes, because we hear the thunderstorm coming. And the thunder rolls. <laughs> Look at these big giant vines that are like all twisty and turny and knotty and cool. you guys know and this area is covered with trails and the plan is for Kurt to do a legit hike in the morning when the animals in the jungle are waking up so hopefully the weather holds up for that and you'll get to see it a little bit better than just the tower with me all right to say I'm super excited is definitely an understatement today we're at one of the most biodiverse places in all of Panama. We did a hike last night uh, around yesterday. We were able to get the bikes out. Oh, I already see wildlife this there. Some big rodents down the road. But I'm up here. We slept here last night. It's about 5.30 in the morning. The sun just came up. And so I'm going to go and hike in this wilderness and see what I can find. Fingers crossed there's supposed to be some cool stuff here. You know how the nature is, and we never know what we're going to find. Okay, I haven't come very far. And the little cappuccino monkeys are right here, over my head. The lighting's not real good. Howlers in the background. There's things chirping everywhere, birds. But, uh, yeah, it's already pretty exciting. Five minutes in, and the jungle is magical. I've already seen the cappuccino monkeys, those little rodents we see everywhere. There's a howler monkey in the tree right above me.
Okay, y'all, I'm here in the jungle, and I spotted a caiman. He's quite hard to see. Actually, surprised I saw him. But he's right over there on the water's edge. I really haven't been able to get in here. So I'm going to tell you, this guy's about four foot, five foot long caiman or alligator. He's right there in that pond. So I did the best I could get him. He came off the bank. He was laying on the bank over there, got in the water. Really tough to film. It's a thick jungle. But now I know they're here. Maybe I'll see some more. You can see the pipeline there. The pipes coming across the bridge. Clearly the pipeline's been abandoned, but the road's still here and stands as a nice trail. One of the better hiking trails in all of Panama. All right guys, just under five kilometers in this one way on the pipeline road. It's been a beautiful hike. Haven't seen as much wildlife as I kind of wanted, but that's just the way nature goes. It's been beautiful. The sounds have been amazing. This thing goes for 17 kilometers, so 12 more kilometers that way. And had I not done that other hike, I definitely would have gone quite a bit further. I'm not sure if I ever would have made it to the end. But I'm always reminded how nice it is to get out in the nature and relax. It's almost like meditation, listen to the sounds. And honestly, when I bring my camera out and try to locate the birds or or animals or whatever they are and get focused and I'm in the thick in the jungle it's just such a high level of concentration that you're kind of in the zone or so to speak but it's meditation and it's very nice and so I'm glad you guys are here with me but all good things come to an end and I'm headed back see you guys at the van all right we are leaving this Pipeline Road, hidden rainforest, Panama, deep in the jungle camp because we're out of food. So, it was a gym. It was a lot of fun, guys. It was a good camp. It was a lot of fun. But we're headed to town to find some food. And with that, we're going to wind this episode down. We'll see you guys in a few days. Cheers. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers guys!